planted on the notion of let's build green complexes that are really complex and, and challenging, and then the surrounds themselves would be even more challenging. So if you miss the putting surface, your recovery shots were going to require a really deft touch around the greens. And as we discussed the playability of that, and how do you present this with a you know, with the ability to putt uh, from anywhere off of the greens, the conversation focused on what type of grass would allow that to happen and we all settled on the, the fact that the best grass was going to be the same grass that was on the putting greens and uh, so we grassed the entirety of the surrounds and the green itself uh, and putting grass quality and we looked at it and for the first year I think we dotted the edges because the difference in height between mowing the you know, green side and the mowing at the approach height was couldn't discern it with the eye, so just the color was exactly the same. So we started putting dots out, and that got confusing. Am I on the green? Am I not on the green? Where is it? And you know, the caddies have had a difficult time describing it, and it became more of a distraction uh, than a benefit to the greens themselves. And so that that went away within a year's time, and they've been maintained this way ever since. And so you get a lot of confusion uh, amongst people talking about the golf courses. You know, what is the green? What is not?